Hello, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, I'm uh, Greg Burdick. I'm Sue Burdick's oldest son. And uh, I want to tell a story that my mom used to tell my brother and I back when we would visit Disneyland when we were kids. So um, my grandma and grandpa Schultz took my mom and uh, my uncle Jack to Disneyland um, either on opening day in July 1955 or the opening month. Grandma says opening month. I think Uncle Jack says opening day. So at that time, um, my mom would have been about seven years old, and she absolutely loved Disneyland. And um, I don't know if it was that visit that did it or the Mickey Mouse Club or um, just the, the Disney specials that were on TV, uh, but she fell in love with Disneyland. And when she graduated high school, she got a job as a tour guide at Disneyland. And that was uh, one of the more coveted jobs. You got to walk around like uh, you got off an equestrian field, wore like a riding hat and had a crop and a vest. Part of that job was not just giving regular guests a tour, but also VIPs. And um, one of the VIPs that she liked to talk about was Oscar award-winning director and actor Ron Howard. Yeah, the same guy from Happy Days and uh, Andy Griffith um, and the narrator for the best TV show ever, in my opinion, Arrested Development. So this was back in 1969, though. And at that time, Ron Howard was probably 14, 15 years old. Um, this is about a decade before Happy Days. And um, he just finished his run with Andy Griffith. So he was kind of in a lull for his career. The biggest star at that time in the family would have been his younger brother, Clint Howard, who was on the tour as well. He was in a show called Gentle Ben at that time, which I don't know if you just look at the photos, just looks like a kid trying not to be mauled by a bear. But I guess that was the huge hit of the day. And so Clint was the bigger star. So mom showed them around Disneyland and, um, you know, did her job as a tour guide, gave them all the, uh, the little nuggets of knowledge and, um, you know, who's in the castle and what's going on in Tomorrowland. But, um, Lunchtime came around, and uh, they were hungry. So mom took them to, um, I think she said it was in Tomorrowland. She took them to go get a burger. So they go up, they order a burger, and then mom looks it up, and they don't have any money. And so um, my mom didn't, um, she didn't uh, flinch. She just went right ahead and paid for them. Uh, it probably didn't even add up to a dollar back then. But uh, she bought Ron Howard and Clint Howard uh, lunch. So these were, you know, Hollywood, you know, teen child stars. Uh, probably didn't have a big concept of money or just thought everybody would pay for them. But um, I really like that story just because um, it shows the type of person my mom really was. Um, it didn't matter who you were. Um, if, if you needed help, she'd be there to help you. And uh, I don't want to get too choked up. This is only my fourth take of this. But um, that's how wonderful mom was. And uh, I miss her every day. But um, I think of stories like that. And I, I smile and I laugh. So that is mom's Disney tour guide VIP story.